So I am fascinated by tribes and the way we... So a guy called John Yates, who wrote a book called Fractured in the UK, talks about PLM, which is people like me syndrome. And this sort of baked in instinct in us to feel more comfortable with people like ourselves, to, to receive more warmly messages from people like ourselves. And I think it's probably universal. I, as a Christian, might just call it sin. <laughs> like, mm-hmm. And it's one of the things that I see Jesus like actively calling us out of by being quite like actively disruptive around tribalism. But that instinct in us um, to feel antagonism or tension or um, fear around people who believe and belong and behave differently from ourselves is so baked in. And we live in a world that's like continually forming us further into it. And we have to find the practices that help us resist it. And you've been in a lot of different tribes. You know, you were a Plymouth Brethren when that was an unusual thing in the world and you Mm -hmm. had to navigate the world as that. (laughs) And then you were a Catholic in, uh, particularly in the Christian music scene, in which there weren't many Catholics. And you Mm -hmm. are uh, someone who has traversed different places. What have you learned? about what helps us continue to see each other as fully human beyond and across our tribes. Or even I think sometimes this is the hardest, someone who used to be in our tribe and we feel like has rejected it. Hmm. 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 Okay. I think... It's like it's, this one is harder than the rest for some reason to describe the way that I view this. But I'll just say, I think I've come to such a sense of the deeply and intricately and unavoidable, unavoidably woven together strands between me and you and everybody who disagrees with everything I think. I just know how connected we are. I understand it. I'm like, I I'm, I feel a sense of this web with humanity such that when a strand is tugged on the other side of the world, sometimes I feel that. You know, I, I believe that we're so connected in ways that I'll never really understand. And so tribes are a way, I think, that we can feel that feeling. But I'm learning to feel it without needing a tribe. And I mean, I I believe in villages. I believe in that. I'm not saying I actually have more of that than I have in a long time now. And with my friends, with chosen family and such, you know, people who I commune around these ideas with, um, we need each other. And um, we're so connected that I guess when, when I receive blowback from, especially from Plymouth Brethren people still that will sometimes find me and send me a letter or, you know, whatever. I'm just like, I just, I don't know if this is dismissive. I hope not. But like, it doesn't matter that you feel this way. I'm still connected to you as much as I ever was. Even if you don't feel it, I feel it. I feel it. And I don't know how to, I don't know how to account for that. I've had that experience several times in some very visceral ways where someone is coming at me with this energy of fear and anxiety and stress about what I think and how it's changed. And what my heart feels is just like, like, I love you. I'm sorry. I get it. I really do. I understand. I have been there. I have felt that. I have said that to someone. I have done this. And I understand. And I don't expect you to be any different. And I don't expect you to see it. And it's not because I'm above you or because I'm smarter or because I'm more in touch with God than you. I don't, that's not my job to know, you know? Or to think about like, well, how am I, am I hearing the real truth and they're not? It doesn't, it's not up to me to know that, but I just feel like I feel love for that. And I'm grateful to be there because I have this experience a lot. (laughs) So, you know. Mm -hmm. 